Father, thanks for checking out our channel. Um, this is the first time you've ever seen one of our videos. We appreciate you finding us, but uh, we work a lot of different uh, scales and low bars for people. Um, we did a repair video on the set of bars. This is a Gallagher alleyway low bar set. Um, we've got it hooked up to our uh, W210 scale. The bars only works fine right now, but um, I wanted to do like a um, how to calibrate your scale. Um, the, you don't want to do it the way I'm doing it just by standing here, but when you're out in the field and you got them underneath the platform, and then, then you want to do it out there because you want to get about five, six, seven hundred pounds or more of known weight. So you want to use like a uh, bags of feed, bags of sand, you know, something bags of concrete, something that you know what the weight of the you know the package is. So the hardest part of that of doing that is. Um, is if you're by yourself, you need a lot of weight. You got to sit on there and everything. So um, this is what this is going to be. This this procedure, how to do it, is is the same through all different brands. But the calibration of like how to get into the calibration screen or mode into a scale, they're all a little different. You know, they all have different um, buttons you got to press and like hidden menus and things you got to do. But the actual process of doing the calibration is the same. So if you got to scale. If you have the W210 by Gallagher, it's basically this, this, you know, this will work for you. But if you got another model of Gallagher or another brand, you'll have to get a, you know, we might have the calibration instructions on hand that we can email you. But, um, well, let's get into this thing. We'll, we'll show you how to calibrate uh, a W210 Gallagher uh, weigh scale. It doesn't matter what bars hooked up to it, you know, what size Gallagher bars, the calibration is the same. So what we're going to do, I'm going to mount this phone or the camera, whatever you want to call it, into here. And we're going to show you what to press and how to get into the screen. It's kind of a kind of a hidden menu here. All right. So make sure like, if you have this, when you're doing this, make sure it's all bolted in where you want it at. So if it's a squeeze chute low board, make sure the squeeze chute's sitting on it and everything. Make sure everything's clear. No one's standing on it. No animals are standing on it. Make sure it's clear of any any debris of any kind uh, on the on the setup. Um, so what you're going to do first on the W210, you're going to press and hold the green and blue buttons at the same time and then turn it to F for fine. So press it, turn it, and hold it. If you do it right, the word cow will come up on the screen. And you saw the little line here going up. Now what it's doing is trying to wait, it's make sure everything's even and level. It gets to the center there. It's ready for you to put the weight on there. So now what you would do is you would get all your weight that you want to calibrate it to. So you got five, 600 pounds or so. The more weight you have to put across there, the better. So if you got 1,000 pounds, it's even better. But if you got four, five, 600 pounds, that's probably a good amount of weight. And what you want to do is you want to spread it all the way across that whole platform, kind of spread it across there evenly. And once you get it all, all on there, I'm going to calibrate it to my weight, which is about 220. And uh, this is going to, probably going to read spot on. But what we can do is we can actually mess the calibration up. We'll, we'll, we'll set it out to like 150 or something like that. And that way it's going to weigh wrong. But we're going to stand on here. I'm just put my feet across the bars. So I'm simulating the weight that you're putting on the scale. Oh, actually first what you want to do, sorry, before you put the weight on there, when it says zero and it's stable there, press the zero button, the blue button. That captures your zero reference and knows where zero pounds is at. So once it says L, that means load. I mean, now you want to add the load to it. So whatever weight you're going to be putting on there. So spread it across her evenly. I'm going to stand on there. So once it stabilizes and you got all the weight on there, that little thing there stops moving, press the green button. And then what this is going to do, it's going to capture the weight of what it thinks it feels is on there. So if you put 500 pounds on there and it says you have 435 pounds, then you know, okay, I need to increase my number. Now to increase the weight, green button makes it go up. Decrease the weight, the blue button. But we're going to put it to like... Two hundred three, some random number. Now I'm going to save it to that. I weigh about two twenty, 
So this is going to be wrong, but we're going to we're going to capture it to there, and then I'll show you how to to uh, save it again. Um, so we're just going to screw it up on purpose, and then we're going to redo the calibration and show you how to do it right. So now you're going to turn it to A. The word save comes up. Press the green button. It's saved. Now you can now I'm step off there, but now you can turn it off. So now what you would do to recheck, you have to take all the weight back off there again, get it back to a clean slate. Now we're going to turn it back on. Then you would recheck it. Of course, it's going to, it's going to weigh me at 203 roughly because that's what I saved it as. So I weigh 220, and it says I weigh 203 because that's why I saved it at. So now we're going to start fresh and thinking that, okay, we need to weigh it right. So now what we're going to do, we're going to push blue and green at the same time, turn to F, and let go. If you do it right, the word cow should come up on the screen. If you don't do it right, it's going to say hello and go through the whole spiel again, like it's like you're turning it on like normal. If you don't do it just right, that's what it will do. Then you have to turn it off and try it again. See, I didn't do it right. The W210 is a lot easier to calibrate than the 200 scale was. The 200 scales, the buttons were really spongy, so you really had to get them done just right. Or you had to have a second person press the buttons while you turned the knob. But it, it had the word cal on screen, but it didn't have this stuff. So now it says zero. Press zero. Add load up to it. Once that stabilizes, hit the green button. Okay. And you know, okay, I. You know, weigh 220, so we'll bounce it up to 220. Turn it to A. Save comes up, press green. Now it saved it. Turn it off, and then you would take all the weight off there. You turn it on to M for manual, so that way it doesn't automatically uh, save the weight before you're ready. And then what you do is start throwing some weight on there. See if it starts capturing it like it's supposed to. Now it's, now it's right where it should be. So that's how you calibrate a W210 weight scale. Um, now the things you want to be careful of, if your scale is not weighing right, before you go and do a calibration, you need to check your low bars to make sure that maybe one of them has got a fault, faulty cell in it or something wrong with the cable. So before you do that, you want to check your low bars individually. So you would unhook one low bar, leave the other one on, leave the other one plugged in and trace the wire down the cable and see if it's a front bar or back bar that's still hooked up. When you figure out which one's hooked up, you turn on the M for manual. Let it get to the zero. If it stays there like it's supposed to, step on that one bar that's hooked up. If it weighs you fairly close, then that bar is probably fine. And you turn it off, unhook that bar, hook this one back in, turn it on, back to manual step on the other end. If that other end weighs way off the deep end, way light, way heavy or whatever, and then uh, that's what's throwing the whole system off, then a calibration probably won't fix it. You, could, you have to take the load bar apart, send me the cells and the cable, or send the whole load bar in, one of the two. The cheapest way to do it is just take the load bar apart, send the, the two cells and the, um, uh, what do you call it, the cable. That would be a lot cheaper on shipping. So, but, um, well, that's it on this one. So hopefully that makes sense. So if you have any questions on how to calibrate your W210 weight scale, give me a call. Happy to do it over the phone. But this video hopefully will help you out. If you need to double check anything on, on troubleshooting, um, or if you got another model of scale that's Gallagher related and you, uh, you know, they're not all the same. The, the, the 310, the 610, the 810. The uh, old way scale, the smart scale 600, 800, 700, 300s, and 200s are all done differently. So this will, but the process of adding weight, you know, capturing the weight at zero with nothing on it, adding the weight to it, then saving it, and then adjusting that to the right one, it's all basically done the same. Some have a lower screen down here that you press buttons on to do that, some of that stuff for. But the, but the basic idea of how to, how to do the calibration process is basically the same. But hopefully that helps you out. If you got any questions, get a hold of us. All of our information is down below. Uh, our website for the way scale and cattle scale repairs is uh, cattlescalerepair.com. So until we do another video how to fix something or how to test something, we'll see you later.